physical education and yoga for senior secondary course. This is lesson 11 and part 2 awareness of lifestyle disorder. In part 2 we are talking about management of lifestyle disorders. Let us understand what is lifestyle. Every day we are hearing the word change your lifestyle, change your lifestyle. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle simple is the way of a person or a group of person live their life in a given place and time. How they cook, eat, dine outside, sleep, get up in the morning, exercise, play and perform various activities at workplace as well as at home. And there are many more association, maybe social, maybe mental, maybe environment in their life and how they deal with it is total effect is called lifestyle. Nowadays, the poor lifestyle is the talk of the day and it is getting menaced in the society. Why? Because it is the mother of all diseases. But fortunately, it is reversible. What are lifestyle disorders and why it happens? When a person deviates too much from a normal routine life for a prolonged period of time, then that person is at high risk of life disorders such as obesity, lethargy, labored breathing, tiredness, etc, etc. To understand better, we will divide this life disorders into two parts. One is physical disorder and second is psychological disorders. First, let us understand physical disorders. And we will also learn causes of them and the consequences of them. First understand the causes. Number one is faulty diet. Number two, sedentary lifestyle. When we use the word sedentary, let me explain. Sedentary means most of the time a person is doing XYZ activity by sitting only and person is inactive. Sometimes Environmental pollution is also one of the causes of the lifestyle disorders. To certain extent, we are responsible to them, but every time we are not able to control every moment. That is also a truth. But what we can control? We can control the addiction to smoking, alcohol, tobacco, drugs, etc. With too much of mental activity, sometimes mental stress is also there and we are not able to cope up because we do not follow the regular practice of activity. We do not want to change our diet pattern also. Okay, then think again. If these are the cause, what can happen or what can be the consequences? Physical disorders. When we use the word physical disorder, it may start with simple lack of energy in doing the work. Maybe the headache, maybe the tiredness and so on, difficulty in walking, difficulty in doing the work. But further, if you do not take care of, then further heart problems may be there, may start with the hypertension or hypotension, respiratory disorders may be there. Maybe the asthma, maybe the bronchitis, simple cold cough will start so that your immunity is going low and low. Digestive issues may arise. On and off, people do complain for indigestion and other things. Muscular problems. You keep on lacking the muscle mass. You are not able to do hard work. And all of these may sometime lead to accidents also because your inner strength is very, very low. So these are all about physical disorders. So you must take care and think again 
all the causes it's not only when you are reading it but these things you must practice in their life and understood them so avoid the faulty diet avoid the sedentary life do some physical exercise on a regular daily basis think again what things are causing the pollution avoid them get away with the addiction of smoking alcohol and do some kind of yoga pranayam and any kind of relaxation techniques so that you can get away with us you will not face the any kind of consequences it's not only the physical disorders we are talking about the psychological disorders also that means they are related to your mental well being let us first find out the causes of psychological disorders stress and tension excessive workload peer pressure media exposure lot of screen time on facebook twitter that is also a kind of media exposure unrealized expectation you keep on dreaming then in two days we will achieve this and this and young age adolescents are still we will say is a free age they can do anything they can imagine anything but do not allow them or they themselves should not allow them to go under so much of stress that it can cause any kind of psychological disorders gender women are at high risk of under psychological disorders if these are the causes then what can be the consequences total disturbance in the life this is a very big word but you realize yourself every time you have to face the problem you are not able to do this then you feel bad so and poor work life balance at home you are expected to do something at workplace or in school you are expected to do something and the many when you are under stress you are not make able to balance both the places in adolescent age many of the youth is focused on their body image to maintain that they either turn into anorexia that mean they do not eat anything they starve practically that term is used lack of appetite for anorexia or bulimia you keep on do not eat anything then keep on eating keep on eating to calm down your mind and most of the time they eat lot of energy and sugar things anxiety disorders if one or two times anxiety is there it is okay but if on every issue you show the anxiety then it becomes a disorders most of the youth are also undergoing the depression because they are not able to either maintain their balance or they are as i told you going after the unrealized expectation or dreams so they when you know the causes you know the consequences you must take care of yourself simply by physical education and you can give you the good answer management skill how to come out of these two disorders and these two types of disorders can be there in one person itself but there are also the management skills which can improve or get rid of these disorders at young age itself so yoga practice is one of the answers why because it connects the body mind and soul it helps to prevent the lifestyle disorders and it gives you energy efficiency to maintain the health and build up the health what can come out if you practice the yoga in daily life you will have the inner peace inner joy confidence and that is opposite to the stress and stress makes you unhealthy so perform the yoga on daily basis it will improve the general health people living in big cities pollution is also there so it is recommended to 
undergo at least 10 to 20 minutes of yoga, your body will be more flexible when you are staying fit, sleep sound, better stretch is possible, stable and balanced posture may be there. Your blood flow will increase. Doing yoga will allow the more ex oxygen in the tissues and improve metabolism. You are able to help. You are able to focus and concentrate more and you feel relaxed. Focus on work and study better. It will help you to sleep better. You are more relaxed when you get up in the morning which allow the person to work better next day and get more opportunities. Your body will have more strength, your muscles, bones, performance will be more or better. Surya Namaskar is one of the asanas or yoga. If you do regularly along with the proper diet, you will not only the lose weight, if it is more, but you will maintain your all types of body strength and work performance because it includes 12 asanas and helps to each one of the muscles of your body is activated in this asana. Stress relief, you feel calm, you can work calmly at workplace and at home. With regular practice, you will be surprised to know that you are improving your intuition also. What is intuition? That person can foresee or sense the need for the action. In the end, I will say you must practice yoga or any kind of exercise to maintain health and prevent diseases and disorders. Thank you.